Hey guys, my name is Elliot Greenwood and welcome! Welcome back to Piscolab and in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a crate. I decided to start working with 32 by 32 pixels size canvas and just draw some random objects and see how it will go. So in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a somewhat medieval looking crate in 32 by 32 pixels and luckily for us we don't need to set up anything in here so we can go ahead and start. So I'm going to choose color somewhere in the orange area or orange yellow area I'm going to start with drawing the frames of the crate now there isn't really a real approach on crate so I will start working with the frames now I will be selecting colors somewhere from this area which is the main brownish colors I don't really suggest you to use these colors over here because they will be more for cartoonish look but for more somewhat realistic I'm going to use these tones right here so I'm going to start with the frame I'm going to select a line tool and pixel size 3 of the pen and then just draw a straight line from these positions one pixel away from the edge and this way we have created our corner pillars so the next part will be connecting these supports with vertical planks and for that I'm going to choose a slightly lighter tone and on different layer and just do the same thing but vertically. When it comes to these planks, I usually start looking at it as a 3D object, meaning that normally these planks in the front will not extend till here, but more likely they will be like this. Because these side pixels are basically is the same plank, but on that side. So I like to keep this slightly toned down like this. And just like that we have framework done. So now I'm going to create another layer. This way is going to be the main planks. We will draw planks inside it. And I'll be using a very center color. I'm going to select a line tool and just select 4 pixels. Because that's the only way it works with 32, 32 pixel canvas and as you can see the planks fit nicely in this middle part four pixels white and we can leave one gap to give even more detail now we're gonna fill up these gaps as well I will be using the same color just fill in these gaps and just to make these gaps stand out I'm going to use light and darker tool and just tone them tone them down slightly like this and we have the main crate pretty much finished Later on I will be adding these frame supports like this later on but since there are multiple ways you can add these I'm going to create four crate variations but the whole variation will be just these planks that go across from corner to corner and as you can see there can be quite a few ways to do it. So now that we have this main body done I'm going to extend this project by four object units and start working on this crate first. First we want to add the shading. Just before that I just want to save this color because this color will be used for the cross planks. Now for the shades or texturing I will be using a light and darker tool, my most favorite tool in this entire software because it allows me to create nice wooden texture in seconds. So just to demonstrate you that I'm just going to toggle off the layer opacity and I'm going to start working with the side planks. Holding control I can just add strokes, brush down like this and it will automatically will create me a nice wooden texture. Now of course I recommend you to just give a multiple lighter and darker tones like this and once you are quite satisfied with the result fix this part a bit and just remove the black pixels and just fix this place a little bit manually. Now once you're happy with this result you could copy this this side onto that place but I usually like to redraw the second part manually as well just so the wood would look like as if it's different part of the wood. Basically just reduce the cloning and just like that two wooden textures is finished and as you can see it just took seconds just by holding shift or control like and darken textures. So now I'm going to do the same thing across the whole work and we'll see how it will turn out.
And just like that we finally finished our main core box. Now if you would like to keep it like this you are done but I will start adding more stuff. Now these main planks seem to be a little too bright for me so I'm just going to tone them down by one tone. The same thing to the gaps and I'm going to copy parts across the work like this. This step is pretty much for those who want to have a variation of crates. You don't really have to do this step but if you want to go ahead just follow me. And just like that we have four crates here and with that I'm going to select this color that we had and going to click free pixels white pencil and just line tool and just draw lines like this. So we're gonna have of course a variation, remove these pixels and these will be the cross boards. As you can see already we have a nice variation of crates. Final step is just to shade these parts down. A nice shading. Pillars seem to be a bit too dark so I'm just going to shade them up to one tone like this and do the same thing with the crossboard so the frame boxes would stay the same tone. Now we can work on this side. And for the last step we can just copy these two boards onto here. Then add some shading right on this part. It would show that this plank is going underneath or something like that. And just like that, just fix up this part. And just like that we have a variation of crates. The horizontal ones tone them a little bit up so they would stand out more. And on the main planks I'm going to add shadows. And the crates are pretty much done. Of course there are a few more things that can be done to improve the visuals. I think maybe toning down the, the pillars will make the crate stand out a little bit more. And I think that does the job. So as a final step we can start adding nails. So I'm going to create another layer, select grayish color, one pixel. First we're just gonna draw the nails only for the frame so you can turn on the mirror tool if you want and then just add pixels in every corner like that while holding shift and you will fill up every corner with the nails. Now if you want of course you can add it at the top but corners will do just as well. Now for these final ones it's gonna be quite tricky so I'm just going to select a slightly lighter color. First two nails will go to the each corner one pixel away. For the other planks I just like to use the one pixel away from these sides in the middle and the last one it's it's really up to you where you want to place it. It can be here or it can be here. But I usually like to select the top one. Same goes for this one. Corners, just corners. Then one pixel away from in the middle in the second plank and top one here. Now for this one you can pretty much just add corners and then just one pixel in here and we can leave it like that. It will still look good. Now I could say that this is pretty much it. However, I still want to show you one more step to create a variation of these crates. Now of course if you are happy with this, you are pretty much free. Just for your interest, I want to show you one more thing. So I'm just going to export PNG file like this, create a new sprite, import this file right here. 
and I'm going to extend this to 160 height move this into the middle to create a few more layers move these two down then copy these across the layers just like that I'm going to tone down all of these crates by one and two so the first top layer from the middle one tone up and the second one two tones up doing this method as you can see here I created even more variations of the crates and this way it could act as a different wood type of a material so if we're talking about Minecraft this could be oak and this could be dark oak or spruce or jungle normally oak probably would be this one but as you can see just by using a single tool we can create a lot of variations with different tones but of course this one looks too cooked of a material because all the edges are black at this point but in here as you can see we can create some interesting variations it is quite tedious to work with textures in order to make some parts stick out more than the others without making them look as if they're merging into each other i think that quite a decent medieval looking crate so yeah i hope you enjoyed it and discovered something new if you have any suggestions on what you would like to see me draw, feel free to drop a comment down below. Make sure to check out my YouTube channel for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.